there are two main areas where web analytics is useful. Uh, the first is in acquiring new customers for a business, and the second is what to do with those customers once they're acquired. Um, in the industry, it's called acquisition analytics, and it's called retention analytics. And both of those areas have their own key metrics that they're trying to optimize. But let's first describe the two. So acquis acquisition analytics has to deal with acquiring a, a first-time subscriber, a first-time visitor, um, a first-time registrant, even just getting somebody's email address. Um, and it, it all has to do with um, spending the least amount of money to acquire the most amount of people. The next area is retention analytics, and the uh, metric there is long-term value per subscriber, long-term value per visitor, long-term value per email address. Um, and the, taxic, the tactics in each area are very different. So while uh, in the first group, the, the goal is to minimize the cost per acquisition by increasing and lowering budgets for different channels, by um, uh, cutting some non-performing channels, boosting other channels. Uh, in the retention world, um, it's all about uh, giving the right piece of incentive, giving the right information uh, to a user, depending on where that user is in his or her life cycle. So uh, to give you an example, um, you know, we all know that email marketing works. Uh, we all know that if you receive 10 emails a day, it probably won't work. So a task for a retention um, analyst or uh, someone in, in the retention analytics sphere might be to figure out what's the right amount of emails to send to a brand new user and when. Is it day one? Is it day 10? Is it day 35? Um, another example in the retention sphere is uh, pricing. So uh, when a user first becomes uh, a, a new uh, a newly acquired user, um, they may be most interested about your product that you're selling. So maybe the discount for them is very minimal. Um, but after two years uh, of a user being acquired by your business, uh, they may have lost interest, maybe they're considering competitors, and maybe at that point it, a 30% uh, discount is appropriate because the likelihood of them turning into uh, more value for your business is less, um, so you're not really risking as much. Um, and those two uh, areas of analytics play very well with each other because at the end of the day, uh, the goal for any business is to maximize profit. And uh, if you compare the two metrics that these two camps live by, um, subscription acquisition costs and long-term value, if you simply take the difference of the two, that gives you profit per user, which is uh, directly tied to what every business is trying to do.